For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. When Disney acquired the Star Wars universe in 2012, one of the unforeseen positives was the ability to expand the Star Wars canon via Disney's other acquisition, Marvel Comics. Not only has those comics been used to explain things like C-3PO's red arm in The Force Awakens, but we're now getting deeper insight into Rey and Luke Skywalker's rainy battle on The Last Jedi. In Ryan Johnson's film, Luke was training Rey in the powers of battle and the Force, and after Luke disarmed Rey of her weapon, she used the Force to retrieve a lightsaber that was stuck in some rock. Skywalker retreated and fell over, only being able to hold himself up by using the Force. It looked like Rey had Luke shook, but in a new comic book adaptation of The Last Jedi, they made a point to include a panel with the word SLIP in all caps, showing that it wasn't Rey wielding a lightsaber that caused Luke to topple over, but some rocks on the terrain. Was this done to appease Star Wars diehards? It could have been. One of the biggest issues some had with The Last Jedi was how quickly it felt Rey acquired her Force powers. In comparison, it took Luke roughly two films to understand and start to master his Force abilities. Many felt that Rey might have been fast-tracked to the Force, but this comic adaptation has slowed her progression just a bit. Truth be told, there's no way you can win with some of these fanboys, and it's hard to say if a few stones can push Rey's progression far back enough to appease these diehards. Doesn't hurt to try, though. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez, and for more stories like these, keep it locked right here to Complex on YouTube.